welcome to Car Scene Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Gia cars. And I have in front of me 2021 facelifted Santa Fe. Some quick facts about the Santa Fe is that they have set the highest number in pre-orders thus far and Santa Fe alone has sold over 200,000 in quantity in Korea alone and this car has increased space inside focusing on family SUV and Hyundai utilized the COM technology or COM tech they call it targeting the people in the 30s and 40s although it's a facelifted version much of the exterior has been changed almost as if it's a full change because the front grille has been completely changed as well as does a DRL and the design overall which I'll touch in a bit but most importantly what's not shown in the exterior and that's very distinctive to this facelift is Santa Fe is the platform or the chassis as for the headlights they have maintained this composite headlamp design but changes are significant if you look at the front grille or front face one by one starting off this cascading grille has gotten much bigger and is now connected the headlights both to the front and to the sides and depending on the trim level this grille has been accented with chrome which differentiates or splits the headlamps to left and right a little bit so it does not look as a big giant one whole piece but but if you look at the one that has the matte finish which is this trim right here it's got a little bit of um, dark chrome gloss like and if you look a little bit away it looks like the one gigantic piece so with this grill you get the color matched fenders and other plastic pieces and this t-shaped drl Hyundai calls it the eagle's eye and also the rear of the bumper has been completely redesigned this area right here the arch of the wheel here has gotten bigger by a little bit and they are now offering this 20 inch rims on this 2021 Santa Fe with the size of 255, 45, 20 same goes for the back 255, 45, 20 so it's a square setup and what's been notably changed on the rear exterior is this one big LED bar which we've seen on other latest Hyundai cars just off my head I can think of Elantra, Azera, so on and so on so nowhere does it say but it would resemble that H of Hyundai starting right here connected H and to some people this could be a major change because for the previous model this area right here was finished in chrome and it's invisible from the outside or more say from where i am right now the undercover has been changed and upgraded in order to help out the airflow of the car at the bottom from the engine bay undercover to subframe undercover center flow undercover and finally to the rear side undercovers it suits the airflow of the car overall and reduces the voltage generated at the back of the car which helps lower the coefficient of drag in other words it increases the mpg i'm going to uh, hop in this model right here and automated trunk and this model is a five-seater I'll show you seven-seater in a bit the LED stuff I'll show you in a bit the highest trim of all so this is the calligraphy model 
color matched with the body and the grill like I showed you so probably that's how you could easily distinguish the car from the two like so so uh without further ado let's hop in I love white interior and uh, let me give you a wider angle all right the biggest change and upgrade that's been made here is the increased space inside due to the new chassis the facelifted santa fe has gotten much bigger inside and second row's leg room got bigger by 39 millimeters and for the seven seater it got bigger by well slight uh, 1.04 millimeters and as for the perspective from the driver's seat the significant differences and upgrades has been made on the interior rather than the exterior. The center console has been completely redesigned and along with that infotainment system. From the previous 8 inch, it got bigger by 10.25 inch and they got rid of all the physical buttons. Now it's um, fully interactive via your fingertips and that traditional gear selectors has been changed to a button type a push button gear selector and a dial terrain modes like this and also probably a little hard to catch on camera but alcantara here has been used or um well i really have to double check on this but it's more like a soft material suede. I don't think that's Al Alcantara. Well, anyhow, this overall, they have used soft materials here and there, giving upgraded and luxurious feel overall. I'm not going to rub too much. It's white interior. So uh, that's how I see. And I love the white interior and color. I love this two tones. Brilliant touch. And this is we've seen on other Hyundai. I was blown away, by the way, when I first saw this for the first time on Elantra, that animation that we've seen before. Since I like it, sports, put it on the sports. And let me move back to the seat and tell you a little bit more about the chassis I told you about. Let's hop on on a second, second row seat. So that's how much leg room it has on the back. Well, one thing for sure, it's much bigger than Sorrento, that's for sure. Again, that's due to the new chassis that they have thrown on on this some facelifted Santa Fe. And that is the third generation platform. And it's also been used on eighth generation Sonata as well. And that chassis, I can't, I can't show it to you, unfortunately, due to obvious reasons. But from the H design that they had before, now it's shaped more like a pound sign so it is more connected it performs better in crash and it also distributes the impact more evenly throughout the body and chassis hot stamping technology has been used up to 14.6 percent so that's increased rigidness and support and the chassis is really performance oriented and driven with the brand new chassis, it lowered the center of gravity with better handling and almost better in every single way, especially for a SUV in terms of uh, safety. Because for SUVs, most of the fatality occurs from a rollover at accidents. Not saying that it will prevent the rollover from happening, but it will certainly reduce the probability of the uh, fatality for sure. And last but not least, it's lighter. Lighter car, always better. And this fourth generation Santa Fe facelift especially focused on safety and they got high scores on many tests including but not limited to KNCAP which is um Korean crash test and also European and US tests as well. And this is a seven seater. The second row there's a button, button for the tilt. Always useful. Although it does not go back up automatically. So that's a third row. It's almost mostly a um, typical thing. Not meant to be set for a long time, especially for adults. But kids, well, they will fit in, but it's not the best comfy uh, seats in the world. And let me see it on the back. 
for the record um best third row space and the comfortness i had thus far is palisade i would say is somewhere close to um that of a uh, sorrento's let me just guesstimate but i think it's slightly slightly smaller than sorrento's i'm not so sure about that but again not a deal breaker the third row is always an option all right so that's that and the button for the third row passenger to get off works exactly the same and as for the power and the engine currently korea is only offering a 2.2 liter diesel engine and but it has been significantly upgraded from the uh, previous one now they are meeting the european rde2 real driving emissions step two and in order to do so they have gone through the hassle of changing a lot of components within the engine the components inside the engine has been redesigned as well from the cast block to an aluminum that's a significant change and upgrade because that alone they have reduced 19.5 kilograms from the engine and engine alone and injectors have been increased to meet 2200 bar and crank needle bearing camshafts needle bearing balance shaft improved frictional resistance which maximized efficiency and i have not test driven this car yet but on other media outlets they actually clocked 20 kilometers per liter on freeway well and that's with a diesel engine but anyhow it's outrageous mpg considering how big the santa fe is and it's only a pumping 2.2 liter diesel engine and as for the power, the power is either sent to the front wheels or all wheels via 8-speed dual clutch transmission that they have uh, first thrown on on Sorrento, next Veloster N, and then this Santa Fe. It is only a speculation, but European market is likely to get a hybrid model with 1.49 kilowatt lithium-ion polymer battery pack and 44.2 kilowatts electric motor and it is said that with the electric motor alone that it can travel up to 60 kilometers and currently this santa fe is available in two engine choices for american market only one the diesel model for korean market so the two engines are 2.4 liter four cylinder that pushes 185 horsepower with 178 pound feet of torque or another engine being the 2.0 liter four cylinder turbocharged that pushes 235 horsepower with 260 pound feet of torque so wrapping it all up um for this 2021 santa fe facelift some say the changes are significant and some say that it is not well from the exterior that's where the um, ideas diverge to some people the front grille is just as big of a all change whereas some people they think that to be just a minor change which is the facelift version of that 